Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a court jester and a leader named Gura. The jester, a merry soul, was always ready to lighten the mood with a jest or a quip. Yet beneath his colorful garb and painted smile, he was a keen observer, his wit and wisdom hidden beneath layers of laughter. On the other side of the court stood Gura, a leader of great stature and even greater pride. She commanded respect, her confident stride and stern gaze a testament to her authority. Yet beneath her powerful exterior, her arrogance ran deep, a river of self-importance that clouded her judgment. These contrasting personalities painted a vivid picture, the jester, his wisdom disguised as foolishness, and Gura, her arrogance veiled by leadership. The jester's jests were not just for amusement, they were a mirror held up to the court, reflecting their follies. Gura, however, saw it as a personal affront. One day, the jester's jest turned sharper, his words held a sting. They pointed towards Gura's arrogance and pride. A jester, they say, is the mirror to a king, or in this case, a queen. The jester's role is not merely to entertain, but to reflect the truth, however uncomfortable it may be. And the truth was that Gura, in her pride, was losing sight of her people's needs. With every jest, every barbed comment, the jester was voicing the people's discontent. But Gura, blinded by her own arrogance, saw it as nothing more than a jester's play. She blamed him for the rising wave of negative public opinion, failing to see that he was merely a messenger. The jester, in his wisdom, foretold a prophecy, a curse. He warned that Gura's arrogance would be her downfall. It was a message about the dangers of hubris and the importance of self-reflection. Gura, in her hubris, dismissed the jester's words, not realizing the truth they held. And so the prophecy came to pass. Gura's arrogance led to her downfall. It was a downfall that echoed in the silent halls of her once vibrant kingdom. Her pride, once her steel armor, became her heaviest chain. Gura, once a respected leader, found herself isolated. Her people's trust eroded by her inability to see beyond her own reflection. Had she embraced humility, she would have found a shield stronger than any pride could offer. Humility, the trait she viewed as weakness, could have been her saving grace. It could have opened her eyes to the truth hidden beneath the jester's jests, allowed her to see the wisdom in his words. But alas, the lesson was learnt when the damage was already done. In the gloom of her fall, Gura found the first rays of her rise. She realized that arrogance blinds, humility enlightens. In the end, the court jester's jests were not just jests, but wisdom in disguise. And Gura learned the hard way that humility allows for growth.